everybody. Thank you for joining in this Photoshop CS6 tutorial today. We're going to go over the curves adjustment today. It is one of the best uh, color correction adjustments there and is a lot of people's go-to color correction adjustment. So usually they start out with that. So let's go ahead and get right into it and open it up. Let's go to image adjustments and then curves. The hotkey is control M if I can I'll just cancel this real quick and bring it up you can see that control M is the hotkey so what can curves do for you you might ask well you can lighten up your brights you can lighten up your darks you can darken uh, both you can shift colors you can add contrast and you can create like some special effects such as solarization so there are a bunch of different things that you can do with the curves uh, curves adjustment now let's go over what we see here the first thing that you'll notice is that we have our graph here and let me explain the graph a little bit so down here at the bottom um, we have our input this is the very bottom and over here on the left we have our output now what we got here is the black the blackest black so zero for black is going to be at the very bottom left corner here now if we go all the way to the top right we're gonna have our brightest white which would be uh, 255 if we're and I'm talking in RGB so this is the brightest white and this is the blackest black here and then of course we got anything on our grayscale value from here to there in between now you can click on this line here which is the midline and you can adjust the values in the area that you uh, clicked and made the point from so if I make a point up here just click um, it's going to create a point on the line and then you can drag it if I drag it up it's gonna brighten up the brights because it's up here in the top where the brights are if I drag it down it's going to um, darken the brights now if I make another point down here and drag it up it's going to lighten the darks and darken the darks if I bring it down here more so you can see how this is like creating some contrast and things so that's how that works now if you move your point around and you're like ah oh, man I didn't really want that there you can create another point and just bring it back up to where you wanted it now you may have to do some adjusting with your with your points here to get the right thing but overall you can just move your points around now one of the best ways to get um, good points and some good uh, contrast and all that stuff in your image is to create what they call an S curve now that is making your curve look like an S pretty much now you can go the opposite way if you would like I could bring this one down and bring this one up this creates like a kind of like a more blown out effect and then if I go the other way it's gonna create a more of a contrasty effect as you can see there so that's uh, the starting point you want to use for your curves and then adjust them as you go on now I'm gonna take off some of these points by clicking on the point and dragging it off and if I do that I get my straight line again and now I'm back to normal or you could come down here to click on default and it'll bring that back so let me just create something click on default it's gonna bring it back to where it was now we do have uh, a set of presets in here that we can use and you can see there are a few different ones for RGB here so if I click on color negative it's going to create like a negative effect so like if you're looking at a piece of film that hasn't been yet developed so that's what that did we've got darker here um, increase contrast and remember how I was talking about the S curve so the contrast is increased and then if we want like a strong contrast you can see the different things going on there so I can go to default and then as it uh, just like the other adjustments you can create your own presets by cl clicking on this and saving your preset so if I wanted to make like something like this where it's really dark save preset 
and just type in whatever your preset is supposed to be and you want it to put be under the curves. I'm not going to save this one because I just made it off the top of my head. There's no reason to save it. And I'll just go back to default so I can go right back to where I was supposed to be. Now you can change your different color channels as well. So you can only take out a certain color if you wanted to. So if I wanted to take out some of the greens in this up here, it makes the image more red or I can bright, brighten up and add more greens. So t going down starts taking them away and going up starts adding them. Let me go back to the default. Alright, now we are going to go move on to another cool thing that I, um, I like in uh, the curves where you can pick from your values using this finger thing right here. So come to this icon and click on it. Now we can go and there's a finger dropper here and if you look at the um, at the graph you can see that there's a little circle on the tone line. So that's where the certain tones are in the image. Now if I wanted to just start like adjusting like these yellows I can click and it creates a point for me and now I can start adjusting these yellows if I wanted to and I can start bringing back some of the other things that I was messing with so now just pretty much the yellows are getting adjusted so if I bring these down like this now I've got an area that is yellow that I can mess with with those you can see now the yellows are getting a lot more blown out or I can start coming down here to take out some of the yellow and you can see now the, the yellows are going a lot more gray but that's what's handy about this little tool here. I think it's pretty cool. Now I'm going to go back to default and just click off that tool so that you don't have it there. Or so you don't are uh, like using the tool to pick from your values. Now you can see that there's no um, circle appearing on our graph because I don't have it selected anymore. A quick way that you can get some uh, color correction using curves and if you're strapped for, for time you can click on this auto button and what it's going to do is it's going to create an S curve based off of your image here and it's going to try to make it a little more contrasty and everything for you that way you don't have to put in a lot of time it creates these points for you on photoshop's like best guess there so that's nice and then you can always adjust these points well, uh, however you want to. So let's go ahead and bring it back to the default and I wanted to show you about these sliders here um, down here at the input. These uh, will adjust the tonal values so if I click and start dragging these you can see how they're adjusting the tonal values in the image. Right now we're getting um, like a more, more of a solarization effect and uh, this way We'll start darkening things up. You can do the same thing by just dragging your point um, on on your image here and you can just uh, mess around with it any way you want. Now you can also go the other way going up and down by dragging the point and same thing on this point you can drag it down to do uh, basically the same thing but most people just go from uh, left to right they show they get better results doing it that way if you are pretty good with drawing or something like that then you can use this uh, pencil right here this if you click on the pencil you can draw your own s curve or whatever kind of curve you're looking for so if I start moving my line here and I know this is gonna look awful because I'm not the greatest at uh, drawing it wasn't too bad but you can draw your own curve there and if you like that you have a lot of control over it this way but um, it's not always the if you if you don't have a steady hand or something like that you can see where I went up and down right here it can come out like disastrous so it's up to it's up to you if you uh, think you can handle using the pencil here then go for it I mean, I'm not very good at it, so I always use the actual point curves. Now, these buttons uh, down here underneath where it says Curve Display Options, they can be hidden by clicking on this double arrow, 
or shown by the same way. Now all these things do is change the look of your graph. So if I did pigment slash ink percentage, basically just flips it over. So it just show, uh, changes the look. If I click on this graph, you get some more squares that you can use. And then you can um, change out, like if you want to see a histogram, the baseline, um, or anything like that. So that's uh, just um, some options of uh, how to display your actual graph. Nothing uh, that really affects the actual image. So just remember that. You can hide those if you don't even care about showing them. And the last thing that we can go over here is the uh, eyedroppers here. Um, same thing as in levels and some of the other adjustments. You can sample an image and uh, set the black points. And you can see that it uh, changes the how the image looks. If I click on show clipping here, it's going to show me the Im or parts of the image where it has been clipped off. And you can see that the RGB values have been changed um, in this ever since I used that uh, eyedropper. I'm going to go back to default, but use these to get different types of uh, looks depending on what you want to look at. You can see that the, the blue and the red and the green have been cut off way over here you, when I have clicked on and set my white point over here because this, this wasn't obviously like a pure white so I cut it off. It's more of like a grayish white so that's why it did that. So if we click on the options here we've got a couple auto color correction options so when I click on the auto button here it's going to um, change based on these um, options that I click on and you can click on them to see how uh, stuff is going to change so if you like it this way when you click on your auto it's gonna be it's gonna look like that here's per channel so just preview it here and then you can mess with the different uh, modes and uh, target colors and everything like that so if you want your shadows to be something else like reds or something like that so that's how you mess with those they're just for different kinds of looks so the default is enhanced brightness and contrast and that's usually the best one to keep it on and it looks the best but it's up to you so that's all there is to talk about curves so hopefully you, I uh, threw a lot of information at you guys and hopefully it was useful I like to thank you guys for watching this one and be sure to uh, visit the forums here and if you guys would like to I'd like to see some of uh, your progress here and if you post some of your before and after color correction using your levels adjustments using your curves and your brightness and contrasts or what else did we go over a exposure it would be awesome to see some of your before and afters and all you got to do is come to buckysroom.org slash forum and then come down here into the Photoshop section and uh, just post in here your before and after color correction images and then I'll um, try to comment on them if, if you would like or just showing off your work and showing how uh, and getting some positive feedback or anything like that so thanks for watching guys um, hopefully you guys participate and have a good one everyone see you guys later